Hello and welcome to another Forza Horizon 4 video on the channel and one that I hoped that I wouldn't have to make, okay, because after I did my review of Forza Horizon 4 I thought, okay, that's it, over and done with, I won't have to talk about it anymore, I can just play it in peace, fine. But I think the problem with me reviewing it so quickly after getting it, about two days, was that I didn't properly get to experience it. Um, for its full potential and so I think this follow-up video is a good idea because now I can truly express how I feel about certain aspects of the game and let me tell you this video is entirely negative okay if you want positives about the game go watch my review I'll leave a link in the description I'll put a card in the top right whatever Watch that if you want positives, but if you want negatives, then this video is for you. Because, let me tell you, Forza Horizon 4, it's not good at the moment, and I hope it gets patched, I really do. So let's start with the big bad one, online. Online is awful. Now, it's not, say, I don't know, Super Smash Bros. Brawl levels of awful, if you remember how awful that was. That was very awful. But, I mean, we are well into the... 8th generation? Look, the Xbox One has been released for 5 years now, and I'd have thought that they'd have got the online down. We've already had two Forza Horizon games come before this, and the onlines were great in that game, in those games, okay? But this game just f flipped it up, okay? I'm trying not to swear because I am very angry. First of all, I get disconnected from online lobbies so much. It's not as much with convoys, it's it's with team adventures and playground games and all that. I'll just be in the middle of the race and for no apparent reason, oh, you've been disconnected. Why? And I know it's not my internet because a lot of other online games I've played, in fact, pretty much all online games I've played have been amazing. They've been perfect. You know, Forza Horizon 3, Forza Horizon 2, GTA Online, uh, The Crew 2, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Bros. 4, not Brawl, they've all been fine, and that's on the same Wi-Fi, so it's not my connection, it's the game, unless, I, I don't know, the, I, don't, I don't know, but it's not, it's not good. As well as that, Ranked Adventure is God awful in my opinion, okay, now, to play Ranked Adventure, you need a full lobby of players, like real people, 12 people, full lobby, or else you can't play. Now, to enter into a lobby for Ranked Adventure, first you have to select Ranked Adventure and then the the class you want to race in, you know, full racing, full playground games, or either. I stick to racing because that's what I enjoy. And then it'll try and find a lobby for you, and then it'll ask you to confirm that you want to enter that lobby by, I think it's the select button. I'm pretty sure, but for some reason, it's not really the game's fault, but it's designed weird. People just don't confirm, like, they've gone in, selected Ranked Adventure, like, physically done that, but then when they, uh, they're asked to confirm to play Ranked Adventure, they don't. So you sat waiting at about, it's usually 11 out of 12 players. 11 players have confirmed it, but there's always one person who hasn't. And it's so annoying. It is so annoying. I have got into three ranked, like, tournaments, okay? And if you don't know, after every ranked tournament, or whatever, cup, it kicks you out back to Horizon Life. So you have to search for another one. And it's just bloody awful, okay? It's usually about 1 in 10 times that I get into a ranked lobby, and then it'll disconnect me. It will just fucking disconnect me, and I'm ugh, I'm, I'm not happy. Um, I'm really not, okay? It's just bad. Ah, oh, man, but enough about online. Let's get into some other things. Glitches, okay? Ugh, I've been experiencing some glitches, okay? Now, I have talked about glitches already, in my review, uh, you can watch that if you want to see some more, but I have been experiencing some more things. Now, the thing that I talked about, the sound, the sound freezes, okay? I'll, let's say I'm driving along in my Porsche, I'm in fifth gear, and then, oh, there's a bend coming up, let's slow down and put it into second. 
I'll be in second, but the game sounds like I'm still in fifth. And it'll be like that for half a minute, and then it'll just go back. It's weird and annoying, and I hate it Re really a lot. Much. Yes, I do. But there's one glitch that I've had a couple of times, actually, and I'm going to put it on screen the one time that I recorded it. Basically, I was just playing a playground game, and out of the blue, my car just sinks into the ground. And I can't move. I'm just sat there like a duck. And I can't do anything. And then it just sort of pops me back out. I'm like, what was that? What was that? Clubs. Clubs are stupid and pointless, okay? Um, this is something that AR12 Nick talked about in his video. And I just want to reiterate it because clubs are stupid in this game. Because in Forza Horizon 3, clubs were within the game okay you could not join a club if you did not have the game okay and if you did not get to the point where you could where you unlocked clubs you could not join the club if you did not have forza horizon 3 which is what i'm saying okay great and you also had a leaderboard so you could tell who was being the most active uh i think it was in the month or something which which was great you could see how well you were doing compared to others in Forza Horizon 4 they've just ruined it because clubs are now not exclusive to the game you can join a Forza Horizon 4 club even if you don't have the game because the club I've joined I can't count how many people are still level 1 they have not even got the game and they've joined and you know what's even worse there's no leaderboards now so you cannot tell who is putting in the most effort who is playing this game the most who's getting the most experience so you're just sat in you just sat in a club full of nobodies literal nobodies because they don't have the game and it, it's kind of demoralizing really because clubs are sort of this cool feature you know something you can get behind and now it's just completely and utterly effed up so yeah that that's annoying. The last thing that I want to talk about that really annoys me is the actual game design itself. Not a glitch, not a problem with online. It's how the game is actually designed and it works the way it's designed. Like, that's how it was meant to be. And it's progression, I guess. It's sort of earning influence and money. It doesn't... It's stupid, okay? It's stupid because... You can come first on, like, let's say you come first and you get about 5,000 influence. Oh, you come last, you can get about 4,000 influence. So there's no reason to come first in these in these races, okay? And for example, if you do like the Colossus or the Gauntlet or the Titan, even if you come last, the game will act like you have won and you're now the champion of that race class like i came i think i came seventh the first time i did the titan it's like oh well done you you are now the off-road champion of horizon no i'm not i came seventh stop doing this i know that games are trying to be more accessible and this is probably the most accessible forza horizon or forza yet but this is just this is dumb this is stupid okay anyway that's um that's it really because I am tired of Forza Horizon 4. I'm going to give it a break for a couple of weeks. I'm going to go play Black Ops 4. I don't know if I'm going to like that either, but I'm going to go play anyway. I'm, I'm just going to leave Forza Horizon 4 for a while and just let, let it become a bit new to me again so I can experience it again because hopefully by the time I've done that, they might have patched a couple of the problems. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm sorry there's... This has been so... There's no script. No script, if you couldn't tell. This was all unscripted because I just wanted to vent, okay? I can't vent properly when I'm reading from a monotone script. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this. I'm not usually this angry, but it's annoyed me today. Anyway, thanks for watching.